Hey everyone, this is Lucas from Infinite Peripherals, and today we're going to be showing you how to add the Quantum Browser Library to your web application and how to use it to capture barcode data. So first I'm going to open up the Q Browser app, and I'm going to click Connect Your Application, and in this input field I'm going to paste in a URL. Now this URL is essentially just pointing to this HTML document right here. So I'm going to click connect and uh, what you're going to see is just a pretty bare bones demo um, that we have on the right side. Just four files, this main HTML page right here, a empty JavaScript file that we're going to be putting our code into, uh, a CSS file to go with it, and just this top logo right here. So first thing we're going to want to do is add the library itself. So I'm going to open up this project directory and I'm going to drag in qbrowser.js. Now this is the whole library itself, so I'm going to drag it in here. Close that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it to the head of this HTML page. So I'm going to type in scripts type equals text-javascript and then source equals qbrowser.js Alright, so once I have that added um, we now have access to all the classes and functions within the qbrowser library. Um, I can go ahead and open it up and show you guys. Um, so it's separated into sections that we call classes, each having to do with kind of like a group of features. So on the top you'll see functions having to do with um, settings for your device. If I go to class barcode, which is what we're going to be using, you'll see functions uh, relating to barcode scanning, that sort of thing. So that's what the library kind of looks like. And so now that we have the Q browser library links, um, what we're going to do is actually go into the app settings. So I can go ahead and show you something. So if you go into Q browser's app settings, you'll see a setting called barcode function right here. And essentially what this is, is when you scan barcode data, um, the Q browser application is going to look for a JavaScript function that's named whatever you have filled out in this field. So the default is barcode data, but it's going to look within your JavaScript files for a function of that name to send this barcode data to. And you'll see that when I scroll down, the same setup um, occurs for when you read mag stripes, when you read encrypted mag stripe cards, that sort of thing. So we're going to leave it default as barcode data and go ahead and implement this function in our main.js file. So I'm going to go into main.js and I'm going to go function barcode data. And this takes in three arguments and those arguments are barcodes, which is just the barcode data type, which is the type of the barcode, so that would be you know 128 QR, that sort of thing, and then type text, which is just a stringified version of the barcode type. Okay, so now that we have our function kind of like laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and pop back over to here and you'll see that this input field right here, tracking number, when we go into it, we have an ID attached to it. So tracking num input, that's the ID. So when this function gets called, we're going to want to put the barcode data into this input field so that we can click package lookup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go document dot get element by ID. We're going to go ahead and go back over so we can make sure this is right. I'm going to copy that guy, paste him here, 
and now we're going to modify the value and set it to the barcode that we just scanned and go ahead and click save and so now you know when we scan a barcode the application is going to look into app settings and find the barcode data function let me just show you again we have it implemented right here and then it's going to go find this input and set its value to the barcode so I have all these files saved and I'm going to go ahead and update them okay so I'm going to go ahead and actually before I refresh this page I'm going to wake up my scanner I'm not sure if you're going to hear the beep feedback but when I click I'm scanning barcodes you can maybe hear it in the mic and nothing's happening because we haven't implemented the function yet um, I dragged my files and updated this URL so I'm going to go ahead and click refresh and then now that this is refreshed when I scan a barcode it should be to show up in this input field right here so this would be a tracking number right here I'm gonna go ahead and scan that and you'll see the tracking number is now put into our input field and that's pretty much it so that pretty much concludes this video uh, we went over um, adding the cube browser library to your project and implementing a barcode data function so that we could receive barcode data and inject it into our HTML. Uh, so thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.